Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Edward, it's a royal class kit and it comes as a P51D Mustang dual combo 148 scale kit so it might be interesting purchase for those of you who were waiting for this special edition. We have here a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and of course it is already available but I would recommend to hurry because it was sold out I mean first batch was sold out really quickly so I have no doubt that the second batch will be sold out as quick as the first one so as you can see we have here this I would say it's dark blue not the black correct me if I'm wrong here we have comparison with my hand it barely fits in the, into our um, shot and here you can see all marking options which are included into this kit there are I think 12 of them maybe a bit more because we have 3, 12, 14 marking options I guess and then on the side I can show it to you but it's written that it's Boeing officially licensed product and here we have also some information about uh, contents of this kit so we have plastic for P51D Mustang and as you can see production blocks um, are written here, then we have plastic parts, footage parts and painting mask, 14 marking options as I said before, then we have Edward Brassin exhaust tags, two sets, so there are different types and also two wheels types, wheels are similar, but exhaust tags as you can see they are different, so one aircraft will receive one of each and also we have PSP display base, so it's perforated steel plates in 148 scale, I guess that's a special bonus for this royal class kit. So let's open it and here is what we have inside so because this is a dual combo I guess there is no need to show the same sprues one by one because they carry absolutely similar parts as far as I can see so we are going to check one of each and then we'll decide whether it's worth your money or not so first frame I'll put one aside and another one we are going to open it so it is packed into the separate plastic bag like in good old times when Edward was packing each sprue into the separate bags as far as I remember. Okay, so here we have wing ports and this is a typical recent Mustang in 148 scale. So we have here a classic parts division. It means one piece lower half and two top halves. We also have a whole wing mechanization mode separately. Tail wings are here and here you can see ailerons and flaps and if you flip it over here inside you can see that wheel wells they will have to be assembled separately we also have guiding elements which should be helpful during the assembly process and of course external detailing it features the recess panel lines and riveting so I guess it will be easy to get really convincing finish and in case you don't like the rivets on the aircraft it's not difficult to fill them in and get the uh, put it wing. Next we go on with another pair of plastic sprues so again give me a second here we have broken off canopy because it was a bit of tight packaging I guess that's why but as you can see that's the main section of the canopy nothing serious actually two sections of the canopy because there are connected on one attachment point so that's why it is easy to break them off we have here canopy parts as well as cockpit elements molding quality looks fine and of course masks are included so it should be easy to get more or less convincing finish out of the box Okay. next we go on with another pair of plastic sprues here I'm a bit confused because we have now uh, two similar plastic frames packed into the separate plastic bag, actually into the same plastic bag. So first of all here we have few tanks. As you can see they come on the separate plastic sprue. Of course you will have to combine these two halves together. Inside we have some guiding elements so it should be relatively easy to do this operation. And let's not forget that there is also a brassine upgrade available so if you don't want to waste your time with plastic you can just get the brassine upgrade and you will be good to go. Next we have slightly bigger plastic frame so just give me a moment. This one carries mix of various parts and I'll show it in a second. So here it is. 
So as I said, cockpit parts can be found here. For example, if we zoom out a bit, you can see, for example, here cockpit walls, cockpit floor is here, combing panel, instrument panel, rear armor wall, here we have one piece propellers. Um, actually, they will have to be combined together. Here we have one, pi one piece pilot seat, fuel tank, and also some minor elements which will have to be installed in the cockpit. Of course, it will be also detailed with help of PE parts because PE is included here. So it should be pretty much detailed aircraft out of the box. And I guess if you don't want to spend extra money, you will be satisfied with what you will get in the standard package. Next, we go on with another double package in one plastic bag. So I'm going to remove it out of the bag and we will take a closer look. Okay, so first of all we have here several fuselage panels and frankly speaking I'm not sure what is the difference. So here we have two of them as you can see and if we zoom in I guess one is dedicated to the British version and another one to American but here you can see them closer and here you can see another fuselage halves type. But overall molding quality looks really cool and I mean I don't see any possible issues here, but in total we have three sprues with fuselage halves. So one definitely will go into your spare parts, it might be handy for some scratch building maybe. So it will be up to you how you use it. Next we go on with another pair of plastic sprues. This one is more concerned with main wheel wells and also engine gear, so here you can see it. And as you remember, wheel wells should be glued out of separate ports. We also have here wheel tires. And I'm not sure, yes, wheel tires should be glued out of two halves. So if you don't want such uh, parts on your aircraft, you can resort to brassine upgrade, which is molded as a single piece element. And it should be more convincing because it has some writings on the wall, more con convincing tire and etc etc so it is up to you of course it will cost some extra money but it will bring noticeable difference okay and last but not the least is this gray plastic sprue it is dedicated to external equipment as you can see we have here fuel tanks bombs also we have here rocket launchers with rockets and everything looks cool it's really great to have it out of the box and it is given in double set so both aircraft can be um, let's say equipped with help of this sprue next we go on with two absolutely identical sets of resin wheels as you remember these ones are similar so we are going to open one and check what is here so basically you don't have to get the brassine wheels because you have them out of the box so let's zoom in and maybe i will bring it closer to the camera if camera will focus yes now you should be able to see it so here you can see what I was talking about brassine wheel is really superior in comparison to plastic parts so it's just a matter of careful painting and you will get a convincing result the same goes with tail wheel here as you can see it is molded as a one piece element and then we have also wheel rims here you will have to cut out the necessary areas of course you you can't leave them with resin flesh in them, so keep in mind this small thing. Don't assemble a model with this stuff in place. Next we go on with another resin bonus. Here we have two sets of different exhausts. One is covered and another one is open. So just give me a second to remove them. Ziploc back doesn't give me a chance get it out so here you can see them that's the main difference between them one is open one is covered and of course covered one is more suitable for the British version but it will be up to you which one you will choose and of course don't forget about reference photos because it's really important to copy what was actually on the aircraft here we have this special bonus for Royal class so it's PSP plate and it might be a good um, I would say display stand for this aircraft there is only one piece included so only one aircraft can be depicted on this stand which is really surprising because we have dual combo but there is only one stand unfortunately next we go on with 
Uh, this plastic actually PE thread, there is similar as far as I can see, so we are going to check only one. And straight away we are sure that we have here this uh, gloss finish on the dials which replicates glass as you can see and this is a pre-painted P thread so it means a lot of parts will go into the cockpit you will copy the seat belts, instrument panel also here we have some minor elements so out of the box you get decent detailing and of course you can get also P upgrade set which will bring even better detailing and if that's not enough you can buy the Brasin cockpit kit which will be even more crazy in comparison with what we have here but that's not all I found another PE thread which is really surprising and again that's a pair of PE threads so just give me a second to open it and I will show you what we have here so I guess this one is for different version, let's zoom in. Here we have two types of the instrument panel and obviously one of these P threads will stay untouched so it might be used for the next build or maybe you can buy some um, over trees set in order to replicate more of aircraft. Next we have here a large decal sheet so let's open it. There are actually several decal sheets inside, one small one average and one large so I'm going to remove them all in a second and we will take a closer look so first of all we have this small decal sheet there is nothing serious I would say so these are just blue stripes I guess they will be necessary for one of the marking options next we go on with this decal sheet so this one is dedicated to the national symbols, let's zoom out a bit. So as I said national symbols and also stencils here, here we have cockpit decals in case you are afraid to use PE parts and everything is printed in Edward so printing quality looks really cool and I think it will be easy to apply all these symbols on your aircraft. And next we have large decal sheet, so just give me a second. This one is really huge, it is printed in Edward and it has segmentation which is the must I would say for this such large decal sheet. As you can see everything is segmented so in case you need one particular marking option you just cut off the segment and you don't have to cut through the whole decal sheet. Printing quality looks really cool so here I don't have any complaints and I think it will be easy to work with these decals. And that's not all because we also have mask sheet here, these are pre-cut masks so I'm going to remove them out of this plastic bag and we will check it in a second but it's really cool to have it out of the box so basically you get all the necessary things out of the box and the only thing required from you is to carefully assemble this aircraft Next we have assembly manual, here it is. Assembly manual is printed in form of typical adored brochure, so it means color printed brochure. Here you can see small sign about Boeing certification. We also have intro note. Then we go on with parts map here. And note that many parts won't be used. Everything starts with cockpit. And here you have to be careful with the uh, marking you choose for your build because as you can see there are different parts used for each so you have to use the right elements in order to get the right version otherwise you might end up with really you know, crazy mix of various parts which do not correspond with particular type of the aircraft but as you can see overall assembly process should be more or less understandable I would say here we have masks application guide next we continue with wing mechanization landing gear here we install canopy, fuel tanks, more fuel tanks and here we have first marking option so this one comes from UK September 1944 here we have Italy 1944 next one is September 1944 it's France then here we have France October 1944 here we have UK September 1944 this aircraft was in UK in January 1945. Here we have aircraft from Italy, March 1945. Next we continue with UK, December 1944. Here we have 
Italy, January 1945. So I guess these are this decals blue stripes. They will be used for this aircraft from Okinawa, August 1945. Here we continue with another aircraft from Iwo Jima, July 1945. It is quite simple marking option, except of these stripes. Here we have quite an unusual thing with this green colored tail. It comes from Iwo Jima, June 1945. Several more marking options. This one obviously from Italy, April 1945. And here we have UK, June 1945. Quite beautiful marking option because we have yellow top in my opinion. Next you have here the P51D aluminium lacquer painted areas so that you paint the necessary areas into the right paint because I see a lot of builds where they are painted in completely wrong shades. Here we have stencils application guide and of course here we have stencils application guide for um, different production batch and as you can see it was created in cooperation with fun decals. So as I said before this kit should be already available and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye!